Bells are outrageous. I, I, I get a new bell every day and I just want to cry. That's the real Jennifer O'Connor. Our On Your Side team sat down with her last month about bills for medical treatment she didn't get. $2,400 for anesthesia and I'm like, anesthesia? When did I go under anesthesia? At the time, she filed multiple reports with different police departments, but it was not enough to unravel the mess until now. The suspect, Shannon Smith, would go to a hospital, give the victim's name to get medical attention. Sergeant Joaquin Enriquez with MCSO says 47-year-old Shannon Smith racked up nearly $500,000 worth of medical bills under Jennifer's name. Enriquez says Smith was homeless and was a substance abuser. He said over the last few months, Smith was getting in trouble for things like trespassing or shoplifting and would tell police she needed medical help. And therefore, law enforcement obviously is going to take precaution, as always, and transport this individual to the hospital. Well, when she was there, she would receive some medical treatment, but just kept racking up these medical expenses under the victim's name. MCSO put out this bulletin last week, and Phoenix police found and arrested Smith Saturday. Detectives say she was using six different aliases, with Jennifer being the primary one. Court records show Jennifer and her husband got divorced in 2011, and she has not had contact with him since. But Smith has. At one point or another, our suspect, Shannon Smith, dated um, the ex-husband of the victim, and that's how the information was shared. Well, I think it was most, more fear, you know. Um, obviously, he feels as an accomplice to this, so I think it was more like, I better start talking about what I know uh, before it gets, you know, um, they come looking for me. Enriquez doesn't believe there are any more victims, but fears there are more charges. This, this is very damaging to somebody um, when their identity is taken. Now, Enriquez says Smith did admit to using O'Connor's name to get medical care. She was booked on a $100,000 bond with eight felony charges. We're also told she has six outstanding warrants out of state. As for Jennifer's ex-husband, the sheriff's office is looking into the role he played and if any charges will be brought against him. Guys. Wow.